Okay, in this video, we'll be looking at one more example of expanding and contracting or condensing each, and then look at a quest, two questions uh, from one of my favorite types of questions and logarithms. And we'll get to those later. So let's start with the expanding and contracting. Okay, so the first question is, question one, we want to... Oh man, that's the wrong thing there. Am I might, apologies. Let me get the right tool. Okay. Uh, okay. So question one. Right. There we go. Uh, we have to expand the following or write the separate logs. That's the other way of saying it. So what we have to start with is we've got a log and we've got the cube root of x squared over uh, y to the power of 4. And we have to expand this, right, as separate logs. Alright, so the first thing I think we should do is convert the third or the root form into an exponential form. So what I mean by that is the cube root means the same as to the power a third, right? So what we have is we have x squared over y to the power 4 and the same as a cube root would be to raise something to the power 1 over 3 right and now we can see now we can start applying our laws again so we have something raised to a power so that exponent can move to the front so we have one third of and then log and then it's x squared over y to the power 4 let's just do this step for step Okay, so now in this case, since we're doing it exactly step for step, we don't really need these brackets here. But I'll just keep it there for now. Brackets are always your friend. Alright, now we see we've got a division going on. So we have, we're have going to have log of the top minus log of the bottom. Okay, let's just keep our third there. And we have third log. And then we've got the top. Now we need the brackets here. Minus log of the bottom right and now that should be fine I'm just gonna multiply the third in for completeness sake so a third log x squared oh and then we can do the powers as well minus a third log y to the power of 4 and then finally we can say we can take this exponent to the front now so a third times 2 gives us 2 thirds log x minus and then a third times four is four thirds log y and there we go that is our answer so that's a nice a nice little example for expanding now let's do one for uh, contracting or condensing so question two now we have to rewrite it as a single log so we start with a separate log so it's going to be three log of x plus one minus 2 log of 3x and finally plus log y okay so I think let's first do the number in front the coefficient turn that back into an exponent right so we have log let's write equals log of x plus 1 cubed the 3 going to as the exponent, then minus log 3x squared plus log y. Right, so we applied our third rule, uh, the exponent becoming a coefficient or vice versa, and now we're going to apply our first two rules, the plus and minus. So we have equals, and we've got a single log. So we start with this one going at the top because it's positive, right? There's no negative in front. So that's x plus 1 cubed over anything with a negative goes to the bottom. So this one is negative. So the 3x squared goes at the bottom. 3x squared. This one is positive. So that goes at the top. y times y. And there's our answer. A single log. Okay, now I told you guys I'm going to do one of my favorite types of questions. So this is where they start off by giving us some information. 
So they tell us if, and always when questions in math starts with if, that usually means it's going to be interesting, at least in my experience. So we start off if log 2 equals x and uh, log 3 equals y. Find. Okay, so we have to find something if we get given this information. So log 2 equals x and log 3 equals y. Now we have to find some other things. So let's say they tell us to find, in the first case, uh, log 36. Okay, we have to also find in terms of x and or y. Right. Okay, so this is important. So we need to convert everything into an x and or y. Okay, so log 36. Now log 36 is quite nice because this one, if we convert 36 into its prime factors, which is always a good idea when working with exponents and logs. Right, so 36 is the same as 2 squared times 3 squared. Right, now that's supposed to be a little times dot, bad drawing. And now we see all we have to do is we apply our rules. Right, so log of something times something. That means, let's put the brackets, we're more used to seeing that. So that means it's going to be log of the first thing plus log of the second thing. 3 squared. Great stuff. Now only we have to apply rule 3 again, which says we can take the exponent, move it to the front. Turn an exponential expression into a addition, or multiplication I mean, sorry. Turn exponential into multiplication. Right, so 2 log 2 plus, and this one the same, 2 log 3. Right, but, but what do we know? We know log 2 is x and log 3 is y. So we have 2x plus 2y. Fantastic, there's our answer, right, in terms of x and y. Good, question B. Okay, this one I've chosen this one specifically because I think this one catches some people out or or you get started with it and then you realize something's wrong. Right, log 5. Now, first of all, some people might think we can say, ah, this is easy. We can just say this is log 2 plus 3, right? Because we've got the 2 and the 3 going on there. And then equals, ah, but what do we do now? Because log 2 plus log 3, this is not equal to log 2 plus log 3. Right? This is not the same. Log 2 times 3 is equal to log 2 plus log 3. Okay, so that that we can ignore. That is wrong. Right? This part is wrong. So this part also doesn't really help us. Right? So what we're going to actually do is we're going to say, okay, let's get rid of this part as well. That doesn't work. And we continue. So now we have to think how else can we get to a 2 and a 3 or something out of a 5. And we need to remember that we also, we only don't need only 2's and 3's, but we also have things like log 10, log 100, log 1000. These values we know, right? Uh, so log 10 equals 1, log 100 equals 2, log 1000 equals 3, etc. So if we can get log 10s, log 100s, log 10 to the power anything really, and then log 2 and log 3, then we're good to go. So let's see if we can do that. How can we get 5? And this is probably the only tricky part in this question and creative part. So let's see. So log 5, we can say that's exactly the same as saying log 10 over 2. And once we have this, so that was, I think, the creative part, the tricky part. Once we have this, it's easy. Because now we know it's a division, so we'll turn that into a subtraction. Log of the top minus log of the bottom. And log 10, we, saw, we know that's 1. And log 2, we know that's x. So 1 minus x. And there we go. Final answer. 
Okay, and that is it for this video.